We continue to follow developing news out of Glenville right now. I'm Lydia Colbita. And I'm John Gray. Uh, police there surrounding an area where human remains were found this morning. It is something we first told you about at 4 o'clock. News at ABC's Rachel Yankun is live near the scene with the very latest. Rachel. John, authorities cleared the scene not too long ago, but as you can see behind me, there is still crime scene tape up around the bridge where they located those human remains. Now, they were able to remove the remains up through one of the side embankments behind me, but police say it's still too early in the investigation to confirm how long they've been there or who they might belong to. Multiple agencies investigating a suspicious death here in Glenville. Chief Mike Rinaldi tells me geological survey employees were working under this bridge on Freeman's Bridge Road when they spotted what looked like a human body. Glenville and state police arrive on scene shortly after, confirming they found human remains inside this culvert. The body so heavily decomposed, a forensics team can't confirm how long it's been here or release an identity just yet. Thomas Corners Fire Department arrives on scene to help remove the remains. A difficult task, police say, because the decomposed body is partially submerged in water and sediment. Chief Rinaldi says it's too early in the investigation to determine if foul play is involved, but detectives are working to preserve as much evidence as possible. Now, a forest ranger, and including, or in addition to those agencies, a forest ranger was out canvassing the perimeter looking for more possible evidence, though police say an autopsy will not come until tomorrow. That is when it is scheduled. I, of course, will have more information as it comes. For now, live in Glenville, I'm Rachel Young Kunis, News 10 ABC.